Hi all, hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve the problem maximum twin sum of a linked list. Right, so as usual, first of all, we'll be going through the problem statement than the logic part and then we'll be coding it up. But guys, before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe the channel if you haven't done so. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So do check them. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says in a linked list of size n where n is even, the ith node zeroth, uh, zeroth index of the linked list is known as the twin of n minus 1 minus ith node if 0 less than equal to i less than equal to n divided by 2 minus 1. For example, if n equal to 4, then node 0 is the twin of node 3 and node 1 is the twin of node 2. These are the only nodes with twins for n equal to 4. The twin sum is defined as the sum of a node and its twin. Given the head of a linked list with even length, return the maximum twin sum of the linked list. So what we have been given, like we are having a linked list, right? And they have clearly specified that the size of the linked list is even, okay? So what we have to do is we have to return the maximum twin sum. Now what that twin sum is, or what is basically this twin is so for example here if you are having n equal to 4 right then for node 0 uh, from here if you will see here if you will see right that for the ith node let's say this i as of now is 0 the twin of this ith node the 0 index node is going to be n minus 1 minus i where n is the size of the like this so what is the size 4 4 minus 1 minus 3 uh, one, uh, 4 minus 1 3 minus 0 will be having 3. So third node. Third node is going to be the twin of the 0 index node. Right. So here you here you will see if right if you are referring to this example. So on 0th index we have 5 and on third index we have 1. So 5 and 1 are going to be twin. Likewise when i equal to 1. So what is going to be the twin of this node 4? n minus 1 minus 1. That is 2 the node at the second index that is 4 and 2 are going to be twins and 5 and 1 are going to be twins so what we have to do we have to sum the twins and we have to return the maximum twin sum for example 5 and 1 are twins right so the sum is going to be what 6 and third, uh, here if you will see right 4 and 2 are twins and their sum is also 6 so the max sum that we can get is 6 here if you will see right so 4 and 3 are twins so what is the sum? 4 and 3, sum 7. Right? 2 and 2 are twins, the sum is 4. So which is the maximum one? 7. Hence we are getting the output as 7. Here you can see we are just having these two nodes only. So the maximum sum here they have specified. Okay? So how we can solve this problem? I believe the most basic approach that will come to your mind is that what we can do is we can, as of now this is a linked list, right? So what we can do is if we are putting all the values, all the values of the nodes that we are having in the linked list into a array list right into a list let's understand in this way into a list so uh, let me let me mention here okay so what we have done is we are we are going through this linked list and one by one we are putting all these values 5 4 2 1 into a into a list right so in the list we'll be having the indexing right so here you can see we have put the values 5 4 2 1 so what we have to do now now the question is pretty simple only we don't have to do anything now it's very basic problem that we have to solve so what we can do is we can maintain one pointer i here that is pointing to the element at zero index and j pointer that is pointing to the element at the last index that is uh, here you can see it is pointing to three third index right j j so what we can do is simply we can sum five and one we'll be having six right and on on doing that we'll be we'll be updating the value of i as i plus plus and j as j minus minus right so uh, like like this we'll be moving and we'll be keeping track of the sum that we are getting so five plus one we got six then four plus two we got six and out of that we have to keep a variable to maintain the maximum sum so if whatever sum we have got right now, if it is if it is greater than that of the max sum that we have previously seen, so we'll be updating the value of max sum, right? So that's the that's the approach that will come to your mind. I believe most of you must be able to think this one. But 
again the problem is of linked list right and if you are just converting this linked list to a list the problem has completely changed so what if like and again if talking about the time complexity and space complexity for this approach so the time complexity is going to be bigger of n and the space complexity as you have used one list so the space complexity is also going to be bigger of n right so this approach is i believe that's not a good one approach that you must follow because this is a linked list problem okay so then in that case what is the next approach that we can follow to solve this particular problem let's understand okay so i believe that is visible so what do we want here exactly what is the requirement this is our linked list so 5 is pointing to 4 right we want the sum of 5 and 1 these are the twins then we want the sum of 4 and 2 these are the twins right but again uh, like if if you if you are falling in this way in the form of linked list then that is not possible that getting 5 and then getting 1 uh if something could be done like this if something could be done like this that we have one right that we have one first and one and then one is pointing to this two right and like this is null this is null right then we can have five and one together four and two together right are, are you getting this are you getting what i'm exactly trying to say what if what i actually mean by this statement what if we reverse the mid part this is the mid part right this is the mid part of of the given linked list they have clearly specified the linked list size is going to be the even one so what if we reverse the mid part so like this is 5 4 and if we are just reversing this part it means what one and then this one is pointing to two and this is nothing but null okay so what if if we are reversing this part and we are having a pointer here let's say this is let's call it as pointer first and here we are having a pointer second then we can do this way right we can just sum the value which is being pointed by first pointer and the second pointer together then increment like move the pointer ahead so second pointer will be here and first pointer will be here and then again summing up the values of uh, pointed by both these pointer first and second and keep track of the maximum value right that's how we can solve this problem right so if we are following this way so what are the things that we need first of all we need the middle node so first thing is that we need sorry for my bad handwriting so middle node middle of uh, middle node of the linked list so do you know how we can how we can achieve this like there is a problem a very famous approach that we can use to solve this to get the middle uh, node of a linked list that is hair tort hair tortoise approach right so by using that we can get the middle so initially both hair and tortoise h and t i'm i'm marking as of now as h and t so both hair and tortoise are pointing to the head node this is five this one they are pointing to this one right now this is hair and this is tortoise so hair hair will take one step and tortoise will take two step so we are going to uh, update the value of hair as hair dot next and tortoise is tortoise dot next dot next right got it then next what we're going to do is again again we'll proceed ahead so four is going to point to the next and tortoise is here right so tortoise is going to point to what tortoise is going to point tortoise dot next dot next so tortoise dot next is this one and its next is nothing but null right makes sense okay so do we have to proceed ahead no no right no right because now no need to proceed ahead because this tortoise is now pointing to the null so till when we have to continue this process till the time tortoise itself is not pointing to null and and tortoise dot next also not equal to null till then we have to continue this movement of hair and tortoise got it now here if you will see right here if you will see right that see hair is pointing to this two and what is this two this is the middle node of the linked list that's what our requirement was so we got the middle node and to this hair is pointing as of now now we got we got the middle node from here we have to change the game this one two one here we have to change the game change the game what i mean we have to we have to reverse this part we have to reverse this part here is pointing to this one 
so what we can do is we need this two to point to null here if you will see right refer to this part one pointing to two and two is pointing to null we need this two to point to null so what we can do is we can maintain two pointers uh, one is pref initialize this with null and uh, take another one also take another one let's call it as next node or as of now i'm writing next and this is also pointing to null okay now what we want is that uh, we want this two to be pointing to null so if i first break this bond this bond this bond if i will break first we will lose this node right so what do we want first we have to store this node so what we can do is we can do is that next hey next hey next can you listen to me can you just store the value of hair dot next which is nothing but one okay okay so next is pointing to this this one now now we can do aram se break this bond break this bond break this bond so now what we will do is we want this hair what do we want that okay now hello hair what you can do is can you just point to null can you just point to null or what we can do is hair dot next can you just point to prev prev is nothing but null can you just point to prev so this is null this is null okay now what do we want this is pointing to the to uh, to the null okay now we have to update the value of we have to we have to update the value of prev prev right as well as hair value we have to update right so how so how we are going to update the value of prev so what we can do is hey prev hey prev can you be just can you just point to hair now hair is, is hair is still uh, pointing this two now right before prev was what null so now we are updating this as uh, to point to this two prev is pointing to this two now and also and also so here we can write it as uh hair okay h h you can h you can write okay and okay and oh, what else we have to update we have to update the value of we have to update the value of hair as well hair as well hair value also we have to update so we are saying hello hair uh, can you be can you be just next node can you just point to the node to which next next is pointing to so next is pointing to whom next is pointing to this one so hair will point to this one now hair will point to this one now okay okay so now again 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 we will continue in this part we will continue in this part so what we are doing here here is nothing here there is no value right it is it is simply null so what we are doing is next to next we are storing the value which is being pointed out by h dot next so there is no value this is this is simply null okay so in next we we are just simply having null then what we are saying hair dot next hair is pointing to this one this one now right so hair dot next can you be just prev prev is pointing to whom this node this two so this bond got created right this link between one and two got created right right and again we are updating the value of prev and prev and hair so uh, till when we till when we will continue this process till when we will continue this process till the time till the time value of hair is not equal to null we'll continue this but now here we were doing this uh, modification right so we are just updating the value just uh, the value of hair is what value we do have in next so next this time got null right so we will come out of the loop so we have done that uh, we have done the reversal part right two one and then null so now we have go, we have achieved our target so now we just what is left what is left is the traversal part traversal part right so what we can do is we can simply take a while loop and we can just do while uh, what we can do yeah uh, we can we can simply uh, take these values right this 5 and 4 this 5 and 4 and now this this has been this has been this has been uh, reverse right so 5 5 and 1 we can Five and one we can take together. Four and two we can take together. Uh, we can sum the values and whatever is the maximum, whatever is the maximum, uh, will be just will be just simply returning that, right? Will be just simply returning that. Okay. So for that, uh, what we can do is like while the value of prev this this one to this one who is pointing to this one prev 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 is pointing to this one, right? Prev is pointing to this one. So while prev is not equal to null, we can just simply do this. The summation part like I, i'll show you in the code i hope that you are clear with the 
uh, with all the things that we discussed. So this problem, I believe, is a good problem because here it's not just you're solving this particular problem. First, what we did, we find the middle of the linked list. Then we find we, we did the this reversal part, right? So yeah, let's have a look on the code part, and then uh, we can probably wrap up. So here you can see uh, we are having slow, fast, slow and fast with that hair tortoise thing, right? Okay. And so first by using this fast and slow, uh, uh, what we're doing is we like we are finding the middle of the link list. So uh, we'll continue in this loop till the time fast itself is not equal to null or fast uh, dot next and uh, like both these conditions should be satisfied. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll be updating the value of fast as fast dot next dot next and slow as slow dot next. Then we are reversing the second half, right? So for that, what we are doing is that uh, next node. Okay, so as of now we have initialized next node with slow and previous null. Now till the time slow is not equal to null, we'll continue this uh, reverse link part. Okay, so next node, first of all, we are storing this value, right? One otherwise we will lose this if we will break the bond before. So next node equal to uh, slow dot next and slow dot next we are updating with the value of prev. So as of now prev is null. So uh, like here, uh, two was there, right? Two was there. So two connects, we are making it as null. And then we are updating the value of prev and slow. Okay. Then comes this part, finding the maximum twin sum. So we are continuing in this while loop till the time. Prev is not equal to null. Here we are calculating the max sum. Okay. Here we are calculating the max sum that uh, whatever is the maximum, the value which is already there in max sum or the sum of previous prev dot well plus first dot well so first is nothing but a pointer which is like uh, referring to this head right so first dot well plus prev dot well right and then we are just uh, modifying the value of or updating the value of prev as prev dot next and first dot next and at the last at the last we are simply returning the max sum okay so i hope uh, you got the clear understanding of the problem statement and the code part i have provided the code in the description in case you want to refer but i believe if you are clear with the logic the concept you will be able to implement it by yourself thank you for watching everyone bye bye